why not Peter for president? Well, there's a very simple answer to that question, and that's because I would lose, right? I'm not going to win. I mean, how am I going to become president? I mean, an election is an auction on the advanced sale of stolen goods. So uh, I'm not promising to steal anything for anybody, so I'm not going to get a lot of votes. I mean, there's not a lot of people who want to vote for freedom, right? Because that's what I would promise. If I was going to run for office, I promise to leave you alone. And uh, most people don't want to be left alone. They want something for nothing. Uh, and I, I have a hard time lying about stuff, you know, so I wouldn't, you know, make a good politician because I would tell the truth. Uh, there's going to be some people that are going to vote for a politician that tells the, tells the truth, but not many. That's why politicians don't tell the truth. I mean, if you could be honest and be a successful politician, a lot more honest people would be in politics. The reason that there's so many liars is because the guys that are telling the truth are the ones that lose elections. The way you win elections and the way you get reelected and reelected is that you're, you lie and you, you're willing to do what's in the interest of a special interest who's backing you or funding your campaign and you don't give a damn about the general interest of the country you're not doing what's right for the country you're doing what gets you reelected. and you know so it's, it's difficult for somebody that actually wants to do what's right for the country uh to to get elected uh even if they get elected once they probably won't stay in office because they'll lose because somebody else will will give the public what they want or tell the public what they want to hear or do what they need to do to get the, the you know the special interest to back them and fund them and, and, then, and then they end up winning. So yeah, it's, just, it's not very likely that I, that I would win an election. Um, but you know, it's more likely that I can win over people. I can get people to uh, you know, reject a lot of these big government programs and, and move more toward free market, uh, libertarian, conservative uh, side of the political spectrum. I could probably win over people who would want to follow my investment strategy and invest, um, you know, pursue you know, the, the way I, I'm investing my money. Because, you know, people here, I mean, people are tuning into this Q&A. Uh, this is already a lot longer than, you know, a bumper sticker or a 30 minute, 30 second, 60 second uh, campaign ad. I mean, the, the things that I say don't necessarily work that well on, uh, on a bumper sticker. And it's very easy, of course, for politicians to attack what I, what I, what I believe in, in sound bites. Because, oh, Peter Schiff wants to take away this or, you know, he wants to deny you that. Uh, and yeah, I want to take away what the government gives you, but I want to give back what the government took from you. And that's your freedom, your liberty, your self-respect, and your prosperity. But explaining that, that takes a long time. And it's, it doesn't take a long time to try to vilify somebody who you know, wants to restore freedom. Because you can't restore freedom without taking away all these programs. But what the politicians don't tell you is the programs cost a lot more than the value that you get. So what you get from government, it actually costs you a lot more. What you lose exceeds what you get, except you don't understand what you lost. The government always takes credit for what they give you, but they never accept responsibility for what they take away from you.